Five University at Bobolo students took lead roles in a redevelopment project that found a new home for thousands on Buffalo's waterfront. Courtney Krina, Kyle Mastelinski, Daniel Need, Scott Seelan, and Lisa Stern of UB won a design competition to build a new home for a bee colony that had built a massive hive in an office building of rigidized metals. Company president and CEO Rick Smith discovered the bees when he began renovating the office building on a 25-acre site on Ohio Street that he calls Silo City. Through pollination, honeybees are responsible for 15 to 30 percent of the U.S. food supply. The population of those bees, meantime, has dropped 50 percent in the last 50 years. Smith says relocation of the hive was the only option. Because it's such a grand hive, you say, you know, well, they like it around here for one reason or another. We got to keep them on site, and then uh, the UB guys, you know, who are who have great interest in the site anyway said, well, let's do a design charrette and, and move it along. Firstly, our main focus was a safe house for the bees, something that they would be protected from all their animals and they could live in a natural environment that they felt comfortable and then we wanted something to stand out on the site. The hexagon obviously comes from the honeycomb um, and then the idea of, um, you know, the tower was kind of basically to have the bees above your head and sort of be looking up kind of the same way inside the silos it, you know, you sort of look up and, you know, look up. Um, and it actually started out smaller, but then it, it, it got taller as, as the, um, you know, the d design competition went on. And um. It's pretty impressive just the way that it reacts to the surrounding environments. And its size is almost proportional to the surrounding elevators, although they're much taller. The actual proportion of the width to the height seems about right. So we felt that in our design, it should be important that the beekeeper always had access to the bees if necessary. So we wanted it elevated to keep it away from people, but just so they can view it and then lowered for the beekeeper or even if uh, educational purposes want to come down and get a better look at the bees, they could lower it. It's just an interesting concept of actually being able to move bees from one habitat that they established themselves to a designed habitat. This structure is really large um, to be an icon on the site, but the actual cab is only about three feet tall at its maximum height. Somebody said to me yesterday that they have a nicer home than I do. If I could say one thing to the bees, I would actually say that I would hope that they actually love the environment. It's going to be a drastic change from what they're living in right now, so hopefully they'll be able to stay.